summer, we got a taste of what the UK could experience in a world with severe climate change. Rivers bursting their banks, towns flooded, homes, businesses and people's livelihoods wrecked. And listening to the government, you could be led to believe they're taking climate change seriously. For the past two years, the government has been conducting an energy review, which is intended to consult the experts, industry and citizens about the best way to cut down on CO2 emissions and meet the country's energy demands. But from the very start of the review, the government's position has been clear. Tony Blair and now Gordon Brown support a new generation of nuclear power stations. result of the review already a foregone conclusion. Greenpeace thought so and took the government to court over the energy consultation process. Well, despite promising not to decide on nuclear power stations before a full consultation, it was clear that Tony Blair was completely fixated with nuclear. He designed an energy review which spoke to the people and the industry which would give him the answer that he wanted, and that was more nuclear power stations. Greenpeace couldn't let this pass. The whole thing was a sham, so we took them to court because these consultations just weren't providing people with enough information. They weren't talking about things like what we were going to do with all the tons of radioactive waste, the high enormous costs that were associated with new nuclear power stations and it also didn't really show people that there are alternatives and that we don't need nuclear power to tackle climate change and if anything more nuclear power stations are going to really kill off the real solutions that we need. And here at the High Court in February Mr Justice Sullivan ruled in favour of Greenpeace. and do it again, which is where we stand now. Last weekend, the government held public consultations in eight locations around the country. Just one day to speak to 1,100 people in order to inform the public of the options and to capture the mood of the country. Well, the government really isn't taking the idea of public consultation seriously at all, because if they did, they'd find that they got the answers that they just don't want to hear. And similar to what happened in 2003, this current energy review is all about getting the answers that the government wants. So they're making exactly the same mistakes as they did before, which is why the whole process is so flawed. The government are panicking and are deliberately misleading people into thinking that nuclear power can help tackle climate change. The government really just wants to be seen to be doing something. Well, here are some facts that most people probably don't know. Nuclear power stations only produce electricity, and yet most of our energy needs are for things like heat and transport. Nuclear power will only marginally address things like heating hot water and powering our cars. Overall, about 4% of our energy is supplied by nuclear power, and this 4% will be wiped out by the predicted rise in aviation emissions alone. Ten new nuclear power stations will cost us billions and billions of pounds and leave us with a legacy of highly radioactive waste for thousands and thousands of years. At the same time, they'll only cut our carbon emissions by around 4% sometime after 2020. And this is too little, too late. So if nuclear power isn't the answer, and let's face it, we need to do something fast, what is the answer? By using decentralised energy, by 2023, we can cut our emissions by 17% more than we would if we went for a new generation of nuclear power stations. And the simple truth is that whilst we can stop the worst effects of climate change, we're not going to do that with nuclear power. And if the government takes the nuclear option, we can kiss goodbye to a clean energy future. The good news is that we know exactly what needs to be done to help stop climate change. And these solutions are already being used right across Europe and here in the UK. So by producing energy closer to where we actually need it and then trapping and capturing heat which is usually thrown away from power stations, we can get so much more from the energy that we actually produce. We can stop the worst impacts of climate change but not with nuclear power and in fact by taking the nuclear option we can kiss goodbye to a clean energy future. 
While the government's official public consultations are over, you can still have a voice. Take five minutes to write to your MP and tell your representative that you don't want nuclear power and that you want real solutions to climate change. Thank you.